Welcome to Globetrotter. I'm John Haggins, and I'm sitting here with Crystal Hart, who has the Crystal Hart Show here at MNN, and she does a wonderful job. <laughs> and she's traveled all around the world. And today we're going to talk about Morocco because she just returned from Morocco, and there was just so many incredible things that she experienced for the first time going to an African country. So let's talk about Africa and Morocco, of all places. Morocco, Northern Africa. Actually, I went to Rabat, which is the capital. Yes. Uh, and uh, I flew in from JFK, went to Casablanca, then I took a train in, uh, to Rabat. And the train, I must say, I felt like I was in a Steven Spielberg movie because it, for some reason it, it had the orange and the gray and, and uh, uh, I, it just had a feel about it, so I uh, ended up going up to Rabat and once again the capital. Right, and you met a family. You met a family through actually the um, internet, Facebook, and they were so generous and they were very friendly and very warm and that's what's really uh, remarkable about the people of Morocco. That is so true. I am probably a social media junkie, mainly because I'm editing here at MNN and you know how many hours. Uh, it takes to edit, so I am on social media and my show's on social media. So I, I met up with a family and they were really grieving. They had had, uh, the oldest son had uh, just recently passed away. Oh. So that's how the relationship was built. So it was sort of a solid relationship because it dealt with a lot of, as I said, grief. So I said, I'm going to go, I had a birthday coming up. and. I'm going to go to this tomb uh, to, to... Celebrate your birthday. Well, to celebrate my <laughs> birthday, yes. But to also to meet this family because I was just so engaged and always in a conversation. Even though it was conversation, you know, they speak Arabic, so it was all through uh, Google Translator. Everything was uh, translated that way. But it, it was sort of a courageous step. But I, but I also had a hotel and I figured if everything goes wrong, I brought a lot of work. I have four shows to edit and I'll just lock myself in my hotel room and I just won't go out. Maybe I'll go to the pool. But that did not happen. You were out all the time. <laughs> I was out all the time. And this family was so loving. I have not been loved like this since my mother passed away in 1999. Oh, oh I, I, you know, not, and all the neighbors came to see the American. We, um, her, uh, Fatima, who was the mother, her sister and whole family came down from Ben Lehman, and then we went, went up there uh, one day, and just food and celebration, Food. Oh we my must God. talk food. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Let's talk about the food. I mean, it's just so well, amazing. First off, is Friday's is couscous yes. day. You know, first time I ever ate with my hands, okay? So that was an experience of its own, and this was just a big bowl. Family style. Family style. And everybody would sit around a table, and, and the, there was breads. We had pizza one night. We had fish. Just, you know, every night it was something. Um, the tea, the way they would pour the tea, and of course they didn't use a little sugar, which I said, oh, put my sugar, put the sugar <laughs> on the side and add it later. Yeah. Uh, but the, the food was just, uh, you did know. You, did you have pigeon pie, by the way? You know, I didn't have that, but I will say that I feel that one of the things that, if the family unit is very strong there. And everybody came together and, and to eat, and that was part of the entertainment of what everybody in the household and all the other people around, you, you know, that's, that's sort of what the entertainment was. Right. Of course, and they had the mosque and, and their religious uh, ceremonies. Where but they pray five times a day. They, yes, they, which, do, they do pray. Yeah, which is wonderful. You know, it's a whole part of their culture, and it's, you know, it's something that you, have, you go into and you learn about all these wonderful uh, people, and you learn about their culture, you learn about their cuisine, you learn about their traditions. It's just a wonderful exchange. And you also had the opportunity of going to Marrakesh, because I said, you've got to go to Marrakesh, and El Fana, that huge market there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is from Marrakesh, okay? <laughs> and of course, <laughs> my little sparkly purse and, and the beautiful uh, things. Just it's the city of motorcycles. So when you're there, there's a lot of like winding roads. Right. So motorcycles go everywhere. Weave. Yes, everywhere are these motorcycles. I rode a camel. 
Okay. Like, first time. The first time I was ever on a camel. I had a monkey, two monkeys on me, and the one on the one side was like sort of heavy, okay? So he <laughs> like had not missed a meal. I'm going to tell you that. I had a snake around my neck. But at one point I was like, get the snake off. Get Wait a second. Was that in Marrakesh? Yes, it oh was. Oh, my God. Because you've got the snake charmers, you've got the drag queens, you've got the Arabic, <laughs> the uh, aerobic, not aerobics, what do you call the uh, Arabat, uh, Arabatic people, whatever you call them. Uh, and, yeah, and at night, all the drummers come out, and, right. and, and they're, and the and they're all drumming, and the food. And I also found alcohol, believe it or not. You know, really? where there is a will, there is a way. <laughs> you got to have your beer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, that was a very busy place, because I was not the only person looking for alcohol. Oh, really? Yes. So, uh, but so many uh, souks. Yes. With just, uh, you know, the, uh, little dishes and soaps and teas and uh, vapors that, that, that can clear your nose and, and as and I perfumes. said. perfumes. Oh, yes, this. You know, the funny part, and for all my theater friends, this is real, actually for a pillow. So, so many uh, fabrics. And, you know, at one point, I, and I put it up on Facebook for all my theater friends, I had um, on Off-Broadway choreographed Kismet. And what they did with the scarves and how they could wrap you up and, and do the hair and the head, I said, you know, maybe it's time to redo that show. <laughs> it was just amazing. Oh, and carpets. Oh my gosh, and you I ended two. up I bought two from Mohammed. I said, Mohammed, you could sell an Eskimo ice. This was <laughs> after, you know, I, we were actually leaving to get back to the train to take us back to Rabat. Right. But I had bought a little prayer rug and um, a Quran. And then the gentleman said, Oh no, we're going to show you the old section right. of, uh, <laughs> of Morocco. <laughs> so on this little tour, I ended up in this, this carpet. Uh, a gallery and a matter of fact I would have there were other carpets I wanted to buy I live in a very small Manhattan apartment so actually the one that I really wanted because it's salmon because the city is salmon right. uh, all the buildings are not all the buildings are but it's known uh, as a as a salmon city or the pink city and they're right. all handmade by the women um, Oh, Fevers? yes. Is it, it, well, uh, I don't know. They have these, I mean, it's amazing how they, they have, their fingers are so limber. They can do all these little intertwinings and, you know, weaving of all these wonderful things. But I wrote an article many years ago called Every Road Leads to a Carpet Shop because no matter <laughs> where you go, somebody's selling you a carpet. And it's really amazing. <laughs> and they said that women make the carpets because we're more patient. Yeah, and how limber like fingers, that? smaller fingers, too. And smaller fingers. Yeah. So, yes, and, you know, I took one home with me. And then the other one I had delivered, and you know, it, it was delivered right on time. They flew it, a matter of fact, they flew it out of Casablanca, and it was here like within a day and a half. And, Amazing. Uh, in, in perfect, I must say, condition. So, uh, so it was just, you know, it's a joy every day when I look at them. So. Oh, sure. And bring back great memories. My God, that whole experience. You said you're going to go back at some point. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back with a really second big suitcase. This time I took one big suitcase and then maybe a littler one. Well, no, 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 because I went Royal Air Maroc and you're allowed two large suitcases plus your carry-on. So I'm going to take full you're advantage. You're going to maximize it. <laughs> yes, because and shop, shop, shop. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. I mean, Morocco to me is such an amazing place. I mean, I was down, I started down in Agadir, and then uh, we drove through the Atlas Mountains, and what I thought was so amazing was the fact that uh, the driver, I said to him, gee, I want to stop and have some of that roadside food, because I said, I can eat roadkill, nothing bothers me. <laughs> so anyway, this, I, I stopped, and the guy whacked off uh, a lamb chop, put it on the grill, and he had wax paper and some vegetables or whatever and bread. It was the best, absolutely the best I've ever had. Then we went on to Marrakesh, and from there up to Fez, and Fez was an amazing destination. That's my next point. Yep. And when you were talking about food, when we were in Ben's Lehman, oh, there was this, uh, they had made a meal for me, and it had, it was the lamb with prunes, just sure, to sure, die it, for. There weren't dates? 
No, it's the prunes, prunes. Oh, yeah, okay. and it was just wonderful. Yeah. Yes, a matter of fact, up there we played a little soccer with some of the children. We had a really, uh, it was King Mohammed VI uh, celebration of a birthday. So they had a big fair and we there were racing bumper cars. And they just, they absolutely adore uh, King Mohammed VI. He's very oh. popular uh, with his people. Right. Yes. And Mohammed is very, very popular in terms of a name. Oh, and we went also to the cemetery where, you know, his father and... Uh, his grandfather and so and forth. And everyone was buried, right. yes. That is, right. was just absolutely... Um, and the picture that you took behind us is uh, from what? What is that called? Oh, the Kebosh of the Eudaeus? Uh, Eudaeus. Eudaeus. Oh, okay. Kashbash. The, the Kasbah. Kashbah, yes. Yes, the Kasbah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I guess it was, you know, it's on the water, and at one time, uh, I don't know if it was Rabat. actually, yes, this is in Rabat. If it was a fort or, you know, people then lived there, and, and now it's a grounds where uh, everyone, where people go and visit. They had concerts there. I had the henna put on my hands, oh, which. lovely. Yes, yes, but, you know, the one thing about that is it, I, I thought you would just, like, wash it off, like, you know. It has to wear off. Yeah, it, it, and it takes a while. It takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, that was one thing I learned. And, but beautiful uh, gardens. Yes, and beautiful gardens. I took a lot of photographs there. I went in April. My birthday is April 20th, so I went from the 20th to the 28th. So that was, you know, it wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. Very uh, nice Perfect weather. weather. Yes, yeah. it oh, was. wonderful. That is so fantastic. And I can't wait until you go back and tell me all about what's going on there now, you know, in terms of your new experiences and also going to Fez, which is another destination Fez. for you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and to this wonderful family that, yeah. that I speak with almost every day, yeah. uh, to, if we get in contact with, and th that was probably the best part of the whole trip, was, was the whole family, the family life and, and the neighbors, and, and, you know, I mean, there was a little fear, which John, I, I will say, I don't know if he helped on that, because being a Westerner <laughs> going, this is my first visit to an Arab country, and, you know, there's politically a lot's going on, and John would say, mmm, the pot, mmm, <laughs> the pot, they're the going to boil me in the pot, <laughs> but that didn't quite happen. <laughs> I was joking, obviously. I know. <laughs> I know. But it was, uh, but I'm so glad you had the experience, and more people need to get up and get out and travel, because there's so much to see, you know, and Morocco is a very, very special destination that I think that everybody should uh, venture out. And, uh, and, and go through the country, you know, from, from Tangier all the way down uh, south, and also go to the mountains as well, the deserts, because there's so many different aspects of the country. Yes, yes. I, I was there for eight days, so I probably needed uh, well, a couple weeks. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and I could have easily. Yeah, and also the trains are so accessible, as you were saying, going from one city to another, although I was driven from one to another, but to be able to Get, a tr get on a train, a public train, and to go and transport yourself from one place to another is fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yes. until your next trip, my dear, off to Morocco. <laughs> I love to say Morocco. <laughs> Morocco is so fantastic. We'll be right back.